Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Nielsen. Today we're going to read one of Nielsen favorites. This isn't a book from our school library. This one's from Mrs. Nielsen's library, which means it came from upstairs. So it's called Kiss the Cow. Um, this was a book that I bought Erin when she was a little girl. And the author is Phyllis Root, and it's illustrated by Will Hildenbrand. Now we know the author writes the words, and the illustrator write, draws the beautiful pictures. So let's get started. And here we open right up one of our pages here. And look at the boys and girls are crawl crawling up the haystack. Do you see it? With the hay, it's all stacked up. And they're going up and they're jumping off. And over here is a little girl walking on the clothesline. Look at the sheets are hanging. And she's using it like a tight rope. My goodness. And there's a beautiful cow. Do you like cows? I like cows. Are we ready? Mama May lived where the earth met the sky, and her house was as wide as the prairie. It needed to be. Mama May had so many children, she couldn't count them all. Among Mama May's children was one called Annalisa. She wasn't the youngest, and she wasn't the oldest, but she was the most curious and the most stubborn. Do you see where Annalisa's standing next to Mama? Do you know what this is? That's called a butter churn, and that's how they make butter. So you put the fresh milk in there, and you push this handle up and down and it churns the milk and turns it into butter. Every day, Annalisa followed Ma Mama May as she carried her two shiny pails to the pasture where she kept Luella, her magic cow, with the be brown, beautiful brown eyes and the bright curving horns. Every day, Annalisa heard Mama May sing to Luella. Lovely Luella, your milk never fails. My children are hungry, so please fill my pails. Every day, Annalisa saw Luella's warm, sweet milk flow into the shiny pails until Mama May sang, Thank you, Luella, my children shall eat. Cheese, fresh and yellow, milk, warm and sweet. And every day, Annalisa saw Mama May kiss Luella right on the end of her velvety, Brown nose. Oh, said Annalisa. Imagine kissing a cow. Every day, Mama May carried her pails of milk home to feed her hungry children. One pail of milk they drank for breakfast. Wow, lots of kids there, isn't there? And the other pail of milk Mama May heated. See the fire? And, salt, and salted and pressed into cheese for the children's supper. Cheese so fresh it squeaked between their teeth. Yum. Every day, Annalisa wondered what would it be like to milk a magic cow. The more she wondered, the more curious she grew, and the more curious she grew, the more Annalisa just had to know. Finally, one day, she said, I want to milk Luella. Never you mind about milk and Luella, said Mama May. If you upset her, she'll never give milk. And then what would we do? But Annalisa had made up her mind. She took a pail from the sandbox and sneaked off alone to the pasture. Just like Mama May, Annalisa sang, Lovely Luella, your milk never fails. My children are hungry, so please fill my pails. Luella's milk flowed into Annalisa's little pail until she sang, Thank you, Luella, my children should eat, shall eat. Cheese fresh and yellow, milk warm and sweet. Now, this wasn't exactly true, of course. But magic words are magic words, and true or not, they worked. She wasn't really filling that up for the kids, was she? But Annalisa, but did Annalisa Luella? Kiss Luella right on the end of her soft, silky nose? She did not. Oh, remember? Her mother takes the milk and then kisses her right on the nose? Uh-oh. The next day, Luella would not give any milk at all. No matter how many times Mama May sang her magic song, it didn't take Mama May long to figure out what had happened. Annalisa, she cried. Have you been bothering Luella? All I did was milk her with my little pail, said Annalisa. And did you remember to kiss the cow? asked Mama May. Me? 
kiss a slobbery, bristly cow? No, Lisa. You must kiss the cow to make sure she gives milk again, said Mama May. Never, cried Annalisa, and she wouldn't. Oh, and the poor cow is crying some tears right here. Oh, she's being very, what's that word? It begins with an S. Stubborn. That day, the children ate scraps of bread without milk for breakfast. Now will you kiss the cow as Mama May? Never, said Annalisa. That night, the children ate crust of bread without cheese for supper. Now will you kiss the cow, asked Mama May. Never, said Annalisa. No kiss, no milk, no cheese. The next day, Mama May's house was full of hungry, crying children. There we go. The hungry children crowded around Annalisa. There were so many children they crowded her right out of the house and up the hill into the pasture. Milk they bag, cheese they pleaded. Boom, 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 boom. Up oh, there she is. Now you kiss the cow, as Mama May. Never, cried Annalisa. Never, never, never. Woo, said Luella, putting her nose in Annalisa's face. Ugh, said Annalisa. Uh-oh. But then she looked into Luella's beautiful brown eyes and wondered, hmm, what would it be like to kiss a cow? The more she wondered, the more curious she grew. And the more curious she grew, the more Annalisa just had to find out. There was only one way. Please kiss the cow, said Mama May. Hmm, said Annalisa. Do you think she's going to kiss the cow? She's curious. Remember, she's stubborn and curious. There it goes. But she scrunched up her eyes, bunched up her face, and kissed Luella. Luella smelled of fresh hay and sunshine and clover. Her nose felt silky and warm and dry. Mama May sang her major magic song and looked. Luella's milk began to flow. The children cheered, and Annalisa felt so fine. She kissed the cow again. Makes you want to go out and kiss a cow, doesn't it? Ah, and now everyone has fresh milk. That was a fun story, boys and girls. This morning we were at the chickens. Mr. Nielsen came with me today and we were at the chickens for a little bit and he helped me redo a perch. So if you'd like to go see about the chickens, you can go on, on the, the Durkin Librarian. It's a Facebook page, the Durkin Librarian. And that's a Facebook page where I put pictures and everything of our chickens. Now, we've got just a few minutes. I saw my friend Lucian, his mom put on Facebook that he was out playing hopscotch, which is a great thing. But I was thinking, because it's supposed to rain the next couple days, what can we do? So I've got some ideas for you. This was my cereal box. And what I did was I cut it open so that I have a nice big piece of paper and, and don't laugh at my drawing skills. I made a cow. I think I have to go put some, maybe some tufts of hair or something. And then... I cut out some tails. And growing up, we always used to play pin the tail on the donkey, but well, this could be a donkey, a cow, anything. And you can take a piece of tape and close your eyes and spin around and try to put it on there. So that's just an easy thing, using our cereal boxes. And I just cut out a bunch of tails. Another thing, now you're going to think that I grew up in the day when there was no electricity. There was when I was growing up. But another popular game was the clothespin game. And believe it or not, I have a clothespin, but it came from a place called Antique Tacos, which is a good place to eat. Anyway, so you have your jar, and you put it on the floor, and then you kneel on the chair, and you try very hard to drop it in to there. Now, you can use the bigger things you use or the smaller hole, the more challenging it gets. Here's another. This is a clothespin like we might find today. And you do it from different heights. 
Now, maybe you don't have clothespins because let's face it, who has clothespins? Well, maybe mom and dad have some washers or you can use some quartz to drop in there or you can use a marker. Oh, that one didn't go in. So you could use a marker. Oh, two out of two. I'm not very good at this, obviously. Or you can use a marker. Okay. So pin the tail on the cow or those pins in the jar. If you got brothers and sisters, make them play duck, duck, goose with you. And if you don't remember what that is, then we're going to have to demonstrate that one later on. But everybody, enjoy your day, and I hope you enjoyed our book, Kiss the Cow. Bye.